Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic rotating typography animation in After Effects. And this video is filled with unique techniques and tricks. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And if you enjoy it, please do subscribe to the channel if you're watching my video for the very first time. And if you've already subscribed, then make sure to hit that like button just for the YouTube algorithm. So that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's make this full HD. That is 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna call this render as our main render comp. And let's leave the duration at 12 seconds. Hit OK. Then let's create another new composition. This is going to be our text placeholder. So I'm gonna call this text. And I'm gonna unlink the locked expect ratio and change the height to 1080 divided by 2. So it's going to switch that into half. That is 540. Hit OK. All right. Hit Control Y to create a new solid. I'm going to call this just layer. Select the Eclipse tool. And then from here, I'm going to create a mask. Hold Control, Shift and Alt at the same time. And I'm going to create a mask like so. All right. Duplicate it. So hit Control D. Let's set the mask to to a different color. So maybe something like a green. Hit Control T. Go right over here and hold Alt Shift and Control at the same time again. And I'm going to create a smaller mask like so. And then change this from Add to Subtract. So now we have a shape which looks something like this. Then let's select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in Motion Designer. All right, and then copy the mask to hit control C to copy it and paste it on the text layer. So hit control V to paste it and then hit M so we can bring the mask property down. Press control T to bring up the transform properties and let's move this and place it into the similar position as the mask to which was on the layer. All right, and let's go in the corner, hold Alt shift and control at the same time and increase the size a, a bit like so. Then go into the text properties and there you'll find the text option, path option, set the path from none to mask two, and then turn the reverse path on. And then let's increase the first margin like so. So we can even animate this if we want to, but I'm going to leave it at somewhere on there. Looks good. I think probably bring down the text size a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's select the layer, go into effects and uh, preset, search for fill just to add some nice color. So I'm going to make this black, hit OK, then go into the project. Let's hit enter and rename this to text underscore zero one. Hit control D to duplicate it, jump into the text two. Let's switch the colors. So I'm going to make this white and let's turn this one into black. You can even change the text if you want to, but for now, I'm just going to leave this at motion designer. Let's go into our main render comp and drag and drop the text one and text two. I can select the text two, press R and rotate this by 180 degrees. And let's snap or align this to the bottom and this one to the top. If you don't see this align tab, you can go into windows and there you'll find it. Now, right now it's out of my screen, but there you'll find the align tab. Then let's create a new null object and hold control and double click on the pan behind tool to move the anchor point in the center and then move the null object into the center using the align tab. All right. I'm going to call this control, select both these layers and parent this to the control layer. That is the null object that we just created. If you don't see this parent option, press F4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible. 
so now i can easily uh, rotate this like so so the very start i'm going to set this at minus 45 create a keyframe on the rotation let's go to second and 15 frames forward in time and set this to plus 45 so we have a very simple animation like so then i'm going to select the keyframes and press f9 to ease, ease the keyframes go into the graph editor and right click select edit speed graph and then i'm going to create a peak in the center so let's select this point hold shift and drag this like so and this one as well so now we have a bit more interesting movement pretty nice now let's add an expression to keep this looping so i'm gonna hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the rotation and let's type an expression called loop out with a capital o open and close parentheses and in that i'm gonna type in ping pong all right so now if i preview this I have a continuous animation throughout the com pretty nice i'm going to copy this expression hit ctrl c to copy it and let's also animate the scale so select this press s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe let's set this to around 90 go to 2 second and 15 frames and let's set this to 120 or something maybe 1 1 10 should be fine all right also make sure to turn on the collapse transformation properties then hold alt and click on the stopwatch hit ctrl v to paste the same expression and again i'm going to see like the keyframes press f9 to ease ease them go into the graph editor and let's tweak this as well now we have something like this pretty nice so this is the base of our animation now let's select all these layers hit ctrl shift c to precompose it call this animation hit ok also turn on the collapse transformation for this and then i'm going to create a pattern out of this particular animation so press s to bring down the scale properties let's scale this down way like something like around five percent zoom in quite a lot select this press ctrl d to duplicate it then select the second one increase this like so maybe around seven percent i don't know or eight seven is fine then again press ctrl d increase this like around nine should be good or nine point eight or seven yeah select this again press ctrl d and basically repeating the same exact process so i'm going to fast forward this now all right so there we have created the pattern if i preview this it looks something like this so now what i'm going to do is move maybe around three to four frames forward in time pressing the page down button so let's actually go five frames forward select everything hold all 10 right square bracket to crop these layers Select the first layer and hold shift and select the last layer go into animation keyframe assistant and sequence layers hit ok and drag this out all the way so now if i go right over here and now if i preview this we have a really interesting animation pretty cool now let's select everything press ctrl shift c call this scene hit ok and let's go back right here hold alt and left square bracket to crop this go at the very start and i'm gonna place it somewhere on there now let's add some nice rgb look to this so to do that i'm gonna select this press ctrl d to duplicate it so to do that i'm gonna select the layer or composition go into effects and presets and search for shift channels double click to apply this turn off the red and the green channel just keep the blue channel on press ctrl d to duplicate it press f4 to bring up the blending modes and set this to screen turn off uh, sorry turn off the blue and turn on the green channel press ctrl d again turn off the green channel and turn on the red channel then i'm going to move them just one frame forward in time like so 
so now we get this really cool rgb effect as you can see looks pretty dope yep one more thing that we can do is if i jump into the scene i'll go right here actually right here go into effects and presets and search for drop shadow double click to apply this and let's set this set the distance to zero increase the opacity and increase the um softness so like something like around there Control c and paste it on all of them Control v so now we have this really cool look as you can see we have added some depth into the scene and now if i go back and let's preview our uh, complete animation i think it's looking pretty damn cool so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this after effects tutorial and if you did do let me know in the comments below and this was perhaps a very easy tutorial but if you want to create more advanced level typography animations then i have a complete playlist of that as well which i will definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out it has a bit more complex and advanced tutorials and also if you want to learn more advanced logo animations title animations then i have all the complete playlist link down in the description below so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out